Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, back with Minecraft. Um, we made some changes while off camera, so let's just go through them a little bit quickly. Uh, last episode, we sort of started making our expansion, so let's head on down, because we've actually made some more rooms. Um, we'll go through the least interesting. Um, this will eventually become my brewing room, where I'll have uh, sort of my potion making area. So right now it's just got a couple of chests, but I won't be able to finish this off until I actually make my way into the nether and get myself uh, some of the materials necessary to make this happen. Uh, so what I may do is just sort of tear up all the brick and sort of remake it, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Uh, right across from it will be our armory. Um, so yeah, I got some armor stands uh, that will have, they'll be built out with various armors and whatnot. Uh, for now, because I don't have the resources, uh, they're just sort of what I have. Um, and I had a couple of zombies wander up with uh, gold armor, so that's why I got the gold helmet and the gold breastplate. Um, gold armor is not as good as iron so I'm not going to be swapping it out anytime soon but at least it will be useful in the coming up episodes so um, we'll keep it handy for that uh, and then in the wall I have uh, some burial barrels burials <laughs> the barrels are buried they are underground um, but no each one so I'll have like melee weapons in the top one um, projectiles, bows and arrows, crossbows, the of the like, uh, and then the bottom one will be various armors if uh, I get more, and I should get more than what's here. Uh, I'll also tweak this room a little bit. I sort of have uh, the same sort of layout going for my offline game, uh, so I may change this up a little bit just to match, because I like sort of what I've got going there. Um, I have also grabbed some of the stuff that was from that deserted village last episode. So I, I made this table, but I got the um, uh, the grind wheel. Um, this is a smithing table, that's what it is. Um, made another crafting table, although I may tweak that. There's another design choice that I made where um, I had a crafting table just sort of in the center there accessible by both the uh, top floor and the second floor so I may do the same layout there because it just sort of makes things a little bit more easier uh, and then lastly we have our sitting room and this one is a little bit more complete I may do something with the roof uh, once again we get a little bit more materials and I just sort of change that around uh, but I sort of like what I have going here um, two front uh, containers, uh, barrels, which I made up to look like, I don't know, little potted plants with the fence post and the, and the foliage there. So nice. We got our uh, pot and our tree in the center. Uh, made up these chairs and got some paintings on the wall. So kind of liked how that's going. Um, got the cartography table from the uh, ruined village as well uh, and in that corner is just a normal wooden block but eventually i want to swap that out for a jukebox um, some of the records that uh, play sort of the various minecraft music will become available as we sort of loot chests and whatnot so um i sort of like this so it'll be sort of like a nice sitting relaxing room where you can just listen to the minecraft music if once i start getting discs um, like I said, I'll eventually dig out the third level, or sub-basement two, I guess you could say, uh, and that'll be our enchantment area. But we'll go more in-depth with the enchanting uh, in a later episode, once we're ready for it. Um, once outside, I uh, corralled all my chickens, so they got their own pen going for themselves. Uh, so, like we were doing last episode, I can grab whatever eggs. <laughs> and pelt chickens with it, but ultimately I just want to see yep, see if we can get more chickens going. Chickens uh, are also another good source of food. Um, 
and for feathers uh, if you feel the need to be getting a lot of uh, bows and arrows. Hello, Mr. Horse. Star of the show. Um, <laughs> don't really have a name for him yet. I don't have name tags, but I do want to sort of name our first horse. Uh, if you can think of a name for this pretty little fella, um, leave me a comment in the uh, in the video comment section and let me know what uh, I should name this guy. Uh, and don't stop with the horse because we got ourselves a little doggy. Yeah, I was uh, doing some, uh, getting some wood and various things for some projects and saw this guy before I know I was like, all right, well, I'll get myself a dog. Um, we'll get more while uh, sort of going around the land, but <laughs> I wanted to get the one at least. So there he is. Uh, used various uh, pots that I got from the deserted village. We stripped out the village, uh, deserted village that we went to last time. So I got a bunch of potted plants to sort of uh, do a little bit more decorating around the house. Uh, don't have any extra pumpkins yet, although our pumpkin patch seems to be growing quite well. So there we go, a couple more pumpkins. Uh, finished off the fence and it was like, it was one post away. So that's why I got the uh, two blocks there. We'll fix that up uh, sort of off camera. Uh, and then we got our scarecrow with an almost full garden. Yeah, our potatoes and our carrots are doing well. So we harvest them up a little bit uh, during off camera, but uh, got to keep rolling it along. And eventually I'll sort of make myself a little food storage area uh, probably digging down uh, and clearing out some space for that because um, this garden will keep me uh, stocked up with food quite nicely. Okay. I think that covers everything that was sort of going on. Um, yeah, nothing much in the way of jack-o'-lanterns, extra jack-o'-lanterns, or... Um, extra decorations for Halloween, but we'll get there eventually. Um, I got some sugar cane. And I got some uh, leather too. I did actually go and start uh, um, reducing my cows or getting the cow farm going as it, as it were. Uh, but let's get the leather because we will eventually, for our um, enchantment area, we need to check, we need to make our sugar cane uh, into paper. So I think it's just, oh yeah, three sugar cane makes one sheet of paper. So we'll just go through, actually it makes three sheets of paper. Can't read the what's on the uh, screen there. Uh, and then three pieces of paper and one leather will make a book. So we'll just get a stack of books going. And then with those books and some of our wood, we can make a bookshelf. So we'll get that underway. So we'll put the leather back, we'll stock up our sugar cane, and we'll put our bookshelves back in uh, storage. Uh, our goal for bookshelves is 15, so we're at least underway. Um, and it's night again. You know let's, we got some wheat. Let's, uh, get, uh, some of our cows going. Hello. Let's see what we got here. And then if there's, nope, there's no odd ends. Llama on the hill. Doing a bunch of nothing. But yeah, once uh, once the cows are fed, you can start. Uh, you know, <laughs> humanely thinning their numbers so that uh, we can get more more food and more leather. So go back in here. We got three more leather. So five. We'll eventually get up there with the leather and uh, making books and whatnot. And oh, we got ourselves some cooked baked potatoes uh, out of the potatoes that I was uh, gardening 
and have received last episode, we uh, threw them into our smoker here and now they're ready to eat. Alright, uh, and then the meat's underway and let's just uh, get out the night. Now, I want to try and do something that we've been meaning to do for a while now, and it'll sort of shape what we need to do for the rest of the game. So, a couple of materials. Alright. Uh, and while we are sort of not starving, but we might as well get our food bar up. So. There we go. Uh, before we go, we should probably get ourselves a couple more pickaxes because I think we're in it for, let's say, the long haul, but we are going to need to be ready for, for stuff. I need more uh, torches as well. Jeez. Right, we'll stick with that. And should I... I think I already have another iron pickaxe, which I do, so we'll bring it as well. Now we'll head over to around this mountain area. I'm hoping that we can find some caves. I've already started a little entryway into this into this mountain. Uh, so let's go down a little bit. All right. Don't try this at home, kids. Uh, ooh, uh, get out, get out, get out. Uh, so let's see if we can get I want to try and find a cave system down in here do we have something down here well, that's water okay hmm what do we got going on here that's all maybe we'll go this way a bit and just sort of see Got some TNT to uh, to try and sort of hollow out this cave a little bit more quickly. Boom! Oh, there's a little bit uh, in the way there. It's getting dark. Yeah, come on! Need to find more cave. go down a little bit. Maybe caves are more down. I don't know. This turns out to be a bunch of nothing. I'm going to be very disappointed. Uh, actually, no sense putting a... Uh... Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Gotta go! Ow! I am seriously not having any luck trying to find any sort of established cave system down here. So I hope this won't be a wild cave chase. But we need more cave! We are at desperate measures here. Run. 
I'm seriously not liking the lack of caves here. of caves uh, as I record this um, it was well it is Saturday October the 3rd and we have just gone well we uh, the Minecraft community has just observed the 2020 uh, Minecraft live so there'll be more interesting beautiful um, caves coming in the near future probably next year um, yeah they showcase their caves and cliffs um, next update uh, slated for 2021. I'm going to guess probably around the same time that the nether update sort of came about, uh, which is fine for me. You know, give them the time to sort of make sure that everything is working all right for that particular update. And when it releases, um, I'm sure it'll be quite nice. Uh, I. The whole reason I had started playing again was because of the nether update, so uh, it added a lot to what was ultimately not a very enjoyable experience, although I haven't really had much um, uh, time in the nether before then. Uh, but it seemed like it was mostly all the same. Uh, now it's sort of, it's got a life of its own. There's plenty of different mobs in there, uh, different binomes for various nether environments. All right, you know what? This is certain getting a little annoying. I'm gonna set off this last TNT here. And if I'm not seeing any caves, Coal. Okay, well, I'll get the coal. Um, I'm not particularly happy with the fact that we're not seeing any, not actually getting any cave systems down here. Now, I may not just be, <laughs> I'm shooting in the dark here, so uh, literally and figuratively. Um, but yeah, if we're not finding any caves that can get us sort of down to where we want to go to find any of the more rare materials. We may just have to give up this particular thread and try another. And you know what? That's what I'm going to do. So we'll be back when we get topside. All right. Well, we're back topside here. And you know what? I'm going to try. There was another small cave up around where we spawned. And I'm going to try that just to see if there's um, other cave systems sort of joining it. Because uh, at least it, that way, if there's um, other caves or other paths sort of within that cave, uh, it may get us to where we want to go. So let's see what uh, it has to offer. But if not, well, maybe we'll have to move somewhere a little bit further away and try again. So this is where we found that infamous episode one spider. And now that we have torches, we can actually take a further look and see if there's anything going on here. And I'm liking the look of this. It, already you got a pretty big clearing here. Um, it's still too high for anything of value, but uh, we'll get some torches up and at the very least we can uh, sort of branch off and sort of see where we can find, well, find anything. Is this just going to go back upwards? Looks like it might. But you know, caves twist and turn, so you never know what to expect. Oh, yeah, it's starting to go down again. So let's see if uh, if this gives us any pay dirt. Now, it looks like it's a dead end, but oh, there. Oh, 
no, we got, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> no, it was, okay. Sometimes you just have to sort of make your own way down. So we'll see if we can link something up here. Best be careful here. Mine shafts are good for ooh, cave spiders, uh, and they are very poisonous. So let's get some light on the subject. I do hear them. Shafts are a little bit scary, especially when you're talking about the early games. So, uh, but there is a mine shaft with a cart right here. Ooh, name tag. Uh, that's some more coal. We got some rails. Um, could do something with with mine carts at a later episode if we decide to get a project going, but. At least it's a good stuff. Uh, oh, we got. Uh, I want to make sure this is safe too, so. That is deep! Uh, but we got iron here. Mm, may not be worth risking it. Just because if it's. Uh, more gravel under oh, over it, then uh, we'll just sort of bury ourselves, and no one's gonna have be having a good time then. Uh, okay. More cool there. Let's uh, venture a little bit. Spiders so are. Certainly talkative in, in this particular area. Oh, we have another chest. Ah, okay. So we have a Oh, we have a spawner. Is it a zombie spawner? Hi, hi, bye. All right. Time to light it up. Oh, come on. Ooh, big drop too. Uh, trick is to get all the sides of the spawner with torches. Uh, he can spawn again. Beetroot seeds. Oh, oh. Okay, we're getting full up. <laughs> uh, okay, so is there a way to... 
No. <laughs> we'll have to come back. Just fine. All right. Uh, what's in here? Is it buried? Oh, we got redstone. All right. We can actually do some stuff. Uh, oh, what? To, all right. Gravel can go away for now. Um, I want to pick up the beetroot seeds too. Uh, granite can stay. Everything else should be able to grab. All right. <laughs> it's going to be looting time. Uh, you know what? We are going to pick up some more coal. Because what we will need to do is we'll need to get more wood so we can get more sticks and then more torches because we need to light this place up. Feeling good about this. Pick up any of the rails that we can because uh, any rails that we want to make in the future, um, best gotten here, otherwise we're wasting iron on. Six now, so probably wouldn't be much to get us down to um, the um, Y11 uh, to start seeing if we can get the uh, diamonds there. But let's go up to gravel. We're gonna have to uh, make our way back down here for sure. Uh, I know it was a little bit of a loop-de-loop -loop to. Uh, get here initially, but hopefully we can find our way through the cave easily enough. I think it was uh, pretty straightforward. I think the only thing we have to worry about is the fact that we entered a very large cavern and it just it was just a matter of going the correct way. Uh, you know what? While we're here, I might as well grab some of this coal as well. going up for a second just to see if we can got the sounds of more spiders yeah. we'll stick with where we were coming from to begin with and what we'll do is just sort of make this a little bit easier to navigate so we'll get rid of stuff that we need to hop down and onto Horses. I think those are the ones that. Are you the ones that I actually rode on last episode? Yes, they are. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, but let's head back home. We'll sort out uh, what stuff we have and get back at it because there's more to explore down there. Okay, so we sorted ourselves out, got ourselves a couple more pickaxes, and it looks like we have ourselves a little bit of a wandering raiding party. Um, actually, they're they're scouting the area, but uh, we have ourselves a merry little band of villagers. So you know what? We're gonna be the grumpy old guy at the front lawns or at the front porch, saying, "Get off my lawn!" Where did they go? Don't tell me they went away quickly. I 
All right, well, they were just here. Uh, all right, well, <laughs> I'm sure we'll run into another uh, scouting party at some point. But for now, I guess we'll just continue on with our little um, cave excursions. Uh, but before we do that, uh, we got some beetroot seeds. Uh, so let's get them planted. Uh, they are one of the last two crops that we needed. And while it is only two seeds, uh, it will be a start. Uh, I'm also going to bring a uh, crafting table in case uh, I need to sort of craft more pickaxes or anything while we're down there. But uh, it should be uh, good to sort of get that stuff underway. I uh, also want to sort of clear out that, um, uh, hello, oh, another new horse. Uh, no. <laughs> All horses like me, don't you understand? See, you like me now. Ooh. Makes me want to go grab a saddle because he's actually got two hearts. And I kind of like the gray and black color. Ugh. <laughs> you know what? It's always the thing with Minecraft. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm 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 doing this. Like <laughs> nothing's gonna stop me. And then it's like, ooh, look, something to stop me. Uh sorry, horse number one, but uh it's not that we don't love you any less. It's just that we want to give you a brother. That's it. Uh, so we'll have some leather. Oh, you can't craft. Urgh, you can't craft saddles. Ooh. Do I want to give up the first horse for the second? Oh, decisions, decisions. I might want to. Urgh. I know that's mean of me, but the gray and black horse just looks cooler. And he's got like two extra hearts. You're with me guys, right? You would make the same decision. And hey, the other horse is in my house fence area now, so maybe he'll stick around. Right? armor. Alright. New horse time. You know what? If we come across another uh, another saddle, we'll just, you know, we'll saddle up the other one. We'll have two horses. Who doesn't like having two horses? Right? Alright, well... <laughs> it in the comments if you need to, but uh, let's get back to that mine shaft. And this is what I didn't want. Uh, I went headlong and now I'm stuck on this side. Uh, so let's see if we can't get back up somehow. To make this better. I don't like the fact that it's all sort of um, charcoal there, or not charcoal, um, you know what I mean. Gravel, that's it. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do, we are going to get ourselves a minecart. We'll still pick up whatever rails we can. Uh, we'll head back light this area up a little more. Still getting a lot. 
lot of spidery sounds. Ooh, lots of gravel. So go and annoy someone else. All right, back this way. We had the monster spawner. Also have this cart. So you know what? Let's take it and the track. And we still needed to sort of put. So I wonder if we can hold on to everything here. There's more beetroots. Oh, enchanted book. Being of anthropods? No! That's lame. Uh, that was an enchanted book. And it had a uh, somewhat level one enchantment on it. Uh, let's sort some of this stuff out. Uh, more beetroot seats, so we'll take that. If anything, we'll just get things a little bit more stockpiled. Because uh, I want to empty one chest. Uh, and we'll pack it up. And that will clear out. Okay, so at least the monster spawner is not going to be causing us any problems. What I would also like to do is we'll fill in this stuff so we don't fall down the holes. We'll get down there eventually. very least we'll know that there's sort of a down area to that don't is there anything down oh there's still got lots of stuff around here so Ain't done exploring oh hi skeleton still only got a sword so i do have a bow but uh, uh we're gonna leave it be for now so let's want to see actually yeah. so we'll get some iron Still need to get our iron supplies up, but it wasn't really what we were going for this episode. Um, the little bit of redstone that we did get uh, will be a big help because I've already made a compass and that will sort of assist us uh, when we go exploring. Um, I'd rather not go exploring too far without a compass because uh, that will sort of make our way back to our spawn points, uh, which is nice. Uh, especially if you're prone to getting lost like I am, so. Uh, oh yeah, there was another torch here, so. This way is pretty much clear. Nothing of value except for more coal, but uh, you know what? We'll leave it be for now. There's plenty of coal to go around. Yeah, nothing this way. And we are going to get some rails. And we're going to get more iron. Whoa! Oof. <laughs> this sort of scared me there. Uh, okay. I knew there was a lower section. So let's make our staircase. of the mine shaft <laughs> like the mine shaft was safe but uh, well need to get a little deeper um, is this just a dead end it is just a dead end 
but it is a dead end that is at Y level 24, and it's not that much further back down because we still need to get to Y11. And since we're on top of a mine shaft, I'm hoping that when we start doing branch mining down here, uh, we can actually get ourselves selves, uh, broken pickaxes. Still not using the iron ones yet, but uh, it will come. In fact, we'll eventually make the transition where we're using only stone to, uh, tools. Erg. Right. Still need to get rid of all this gravel. That's a little bit better. All right. Still going down. Just a little bit further. More redstone. All right. Good. Now we need to switch. Uh, I don't think you can get redstone with a stone pickaxe, so that's better. Um, shoot, I am full up. But you know what? We got chests. All right, we're at Y11 anyway. Uh, it's a good time to sort of carve out a little bit of an alcove here. You know what? <laughs> Down you go. Uh, so you go there, and we'll stick you there. All right, good. And we can get rid of stuff like yeah, lots of flint. Don't need arrows because we don't have a bow quite yet. Uh, again, don't need string or rails. Uh, we will keep the gold horse armor. Uh, any of the building blocks can go away. All right. So at least. Uh, but I normally play easy. I can tell that uh, the iron materials tend to wear away faster on normal, uh, which is a shame. <laughs> I sort of don't want them to, but what can you do? All right. So at least this will be our sort of branch branch mine uh, shaft. So let's switch back to the stone. We're just going to make one branch, and um, if I go through a little bit of this off camera and it starts paying off dividends, then maybe we'll just sort of record a little quick segment saying, oh, I found blank. And hopefully blank is uh, something of consequence. But I'm not gonna spend too long doing this one because I wanna go back up to the mine shaft and sort of complete it. little bit further. I don't think this is going to sort of pay off for us at this point, but uh, we will be back. All right, no. <laughs> so back up to 
of the mine shaft is. So let's make sure we're at full hunger to keep our health going. All right. And then let's head this way and see if there's anything worth finding. Another dead end. Oh, no, we got a little bit more going down, so. We got a lot more going down. that way uh, but we actually got a natural cave that might oh, we got ourselves some gold some more iron uh, okay we do have enough room for the gold so let's mine it Thought it might be just the one, but but it's gold and more iron. Uh, and what we got down here? More gravel or more, more gra uh, roll? We got some light, so we should have diamonds. We found it. Yes, we got ourselves Ooh, water. Uh, this could be scary. Oh, actually, that's that right there is emerald. That is diamond. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, nope. <laughs> We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> Misjudge that hole. We're good. We just, we just need to swim up. There we go. All right. Okay. <laughs> you always got to watch around for when caves start giving you natural lava sources. So let's be careful. Uh, Let's also be extra careful because uh, that diamond is pretty close to the lava and we do not want to lose it. So, you know what? Uh, goodbye, Gravel. Or, hello, Gravel. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the lava here. So, quick water to get rid of that. Like it. Like it a lot. Uh, and then we're going to start mining around the diamond just to make sure that it's safe. Um, and if it's just going to be one diamond, I'm going to be really mad, but at least it's diamond. Oh, come on. Diamond, really? Come on. One? One diamond? All right, well, I, I have a diamond. I can make one third of a pickaxe. Uh, that's emerald too. All right, let's uh, let's grab the emerald then. Actually, let's not grab the emerald because I'm stocked full of crap that I don't need. Uh, where is this gravel? Goodbye, gravel. Emerald. Okay. 
All right, well, that was interesting, but no worse for wear. All right, and we're back at our home. And the weather's sad because we only got one dime in this episode, but uh, here's hoping that uh, more will venture into our possession very shortly. Because uh, once we have a good supply of diamond, uh, then we can start doing more of the interesting stuff. Like getting ourselves off the overworld. But for now, We'll just have to be content with our two horses and our plenty of cows and chickens and our massive garden. So, that should just about do it. If you're enjoying the episode, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Minecraft Mobile Madness. Whoa, spooky Halloween. Uh, until next time, this has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.